Today I want to share with you some of the things we forget to pack so you won't forget to pack them. Um, in USA Today, they did a little study and the five things that we forget to pack when we go on trips, 24% of people forget to pack their cell phone charger, 20% of people forget to pack sunscreen or suntan lotion, 18% forget the razor, 15% of people forget a toothbrush, which includes me, because um, I forgot my toothbrush on a recent trip, and 14% of people forget their sunglasses. So put those on a list, set them by the door before you leave, but put them in a suitcase because you forget them. I forgot my toothbrush and toothpaste the other day, and I spent $6 for a tube of Crest and a toothpaste, or a toothbrush. Um, a few other things. For the ladies, you know, you all want to pack like crazy, but the thing is pack like monochromatic outfits and then just get your accessories to add a little splash of color um, to whatever outfit you're wearing. And also think about what you're doing. So let's say if you're going to have a, um, you know, an adventuresome holiday or vacation, you don't need high heel shoes. And if you're going for a wedding and you're not going to be trekking in the, around the jungle or stuff like that, um, you won't need hiking boots or fins and things. So think about what you pack so you don't overpack. And the other thing, ladies, you don't have to bring your most expensive jewelry. I can't tell you, a few years ago it was, oh, I don't know, probably 15 years ago, I'm diving with this woman. She had a beautiful diamond ring. She's snorkeling around and that, and her hand got cold, and so her ring felt was a little bit loose. And guess what? That ring fell and it was never to be seen again. So you don't want to bring your most expensive stuff. If you can't afford to lose it, leave it at home um, and you'll do much better that way. And it gives you an excuse to do some jewelry shopping while you're on vacation. So those are my fashionista tips for today.